Hi, I'm Sebastian Grochowski. I'm a senior UX UI designer with uh, over eight years of experience, currently working in the healthcare industry. Today, I wanted to present to you my latest project I have been working on for the last couple of months. It's a design system for our website, which has to be aligned also with our product. I use Figma to maintain and create our design library. Why I decided to use Figma? Basically, it's because Figma has a lot of different features which allows us to create a design system in the way that developers can really understand our thinking process. Uh, so it's really easy to communicate with them on, the, on that stage. So let me show you quickly around our basics of our grid system. So as you see on my screen, the first atomic component, it's space fundamental, which basically is used to maintain different relations between different components. The next atomic component is a column component and to follow this logic we created a molecule level component which is the row component and the top level component in this case is the section component. And as you see in my settings this uh, component has been created with the auto layout. So this is really important on that stage because I want to communicate to our developers not only how the component, how, how the design should look like on, on the front end, but also how it should behave. So as you see on my another screen, I, I present here the really simple DOM structure of our HTML document. It's the section div container and then of course it uh, contains a child, it's a row component and then row component contains all children's which is the column, columns component. So basically the nesting of these elements in the Figma reflects what's happening in the front end. Let me present this design system in use case of the landing page. So let's look for our header component in the asset library. Let's just basically drag and drop this uh, to the same action for the footer component. What else we need is the section component. So let's quickly drop maybe a few components. Let's just change the resizing for our desktop framework to the hack content so we can see the entire uh, layout. And uh, I'll quickly mention that um, the section component is the only one component which should be detached in our asset library is because section components it's a template for our layout uh, the other components of course should remain uh, untouched before we will detach the section component let's define quickly what we will need for our landing page layout uh, i would create just a simple hero section with a one column layout for the second section i will just use three columns and for the last one let's keep it like it is a two column uh, section. Let's quickly detach all of these uh, sections. We can easily detach now the row component and then following the order let's detach the column component. What we will need for our section is definitely the header. I already created some uh, predefined headers so let's just quickly drag and drop or paste inside. Let's change the text element to the center. We will need also a button component so this is another uh, Nice example how we can use auto layouts in our uh, section uh, template. We will need to group these elements and create the auto layout with a, a horizontal orientation. So this will be display flex row. And let's change the spacing between the elements to 16. Let's align all of the elements to the center. So this will be uh, align item center in our display flex element. We'll need also our spacer component to define the margins between the elements here. Let's change the fill to the image. Let's add quickly a map here and let's change the uh, image background size to the fit. Let's change the button uh, color to green and the second button let's change to secondary green. The last thing is to just remove helper colors from the column and section component and of course let's disable the color for the spacer component. Okay, let's jump to the second section now. Uh, before I will detach the column component, I will just quickly change 
the type of this column to card and now we can detach our row component and columns component. What I want to add is the row with a one column for uh, the header in this section. So let's drag and drop it here. Let's detach. We will need the icon component for our column. So let's type icon 64 pixel in the green color theme. Let's add a, another heading. I'll just duplicate this one and let's change it to something else. Let's change H1 to H3. I will add a paragraph here. So let's copy this. And let's add the button component at the end. For the last element, I will just change the color to the primary blue. And let's do a hack and let's change the icon colors from green also to blue. Let's change the alignment of the elements to the center. And the last thing is to just add our spacer component. Let's remove our colors. Let's add a spacer between the hero section and the um, second section. Now we can tackle the last section. Let's quickly detach the row and the columns. Let's drag and drop our image to the right column and to the left column. We'll add a headline. So let's copy over the headline here. Let's add a paragraph. And let's add maybe the list item. We don't need the icon. Maybe let's change it to star. We don't need a header. Let's copy it over three times. Let's group all of the list elements into one UL element. And let's add a spacer. Okay, here we go. Our first landing page is ready. Now I will show you how the design system reflects on the implementation stage. So let's quickly recreate the same design in few steps in our new Common Imagine system. So let's jump here. As you see on the left side, I have a layout uh, components. So basically it's everything what you see one in one uh, from Figma. Then we have a content elements and then also we have an icon component. This is a demo version of our system. This is not the final version. So let me just show you how I recreate this mockup in our condominium system. As you see, I just easily drag and drop our section element. Now I can easily add our column component here. Just following the same logic from Figma, I can drag and drop heading, uh, paragraph, and uh, our two buttons or just copy and paste like in Figma. What we're gonna do is to copy just over the same copy here.
let's add our background image. Let's add second section with a three columns and with a one column, like in Figma. Now I will just quickly drag and drop some icons. Okay, let's add our styling for the columns. As you see, the second section is recreated, but there's one more thing. So I changed the colors in the Figma of the icon uh, from green to blue. What I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do here, instead of re-uploading the same assets over and over again, I just decided to reapply graphic styles in Adobe Illustrator, so basically to add IDs and class names inside the SVG code. So this allows us to manipulate easily with the same asset and change the styles. So what I'm gonna do here, I will just basically add a blue class and this should affect our SVG icon and change completely the styling of it. As you see here, the icon is now in blue colors. This is amazing because this saves a lot of space. The code is much more minified, simpler and lighter. Now let's create the last section. And as you see, our uh, design is already done. I will quickly update this page and show you uh, how it looks like in the front end. Now let's jump quickly to our Figma file. I want to show you also the, another amazing feature of the design system I created. So because we use auto layouts, it's really easy to change our designs and adapt for different mobile devices or tablets. So what I'm gonna do here, I will just change the resizing width to the fill container for all components, basically. All the other elements nested inside, they also should be changed to the fill container. Change the orientation of the elements. Let's change now the size of our frame to 375 pixel iPhone 10, iPhone 8 Plus. We can quickly change our heading styles for the mobile. As you see, I was able to create the mobile version in just a few clicks. Which is fully responsive. Of course, the same happens when you switch the viewport from desktop to mobile in our system. As you see, it looks exactly like in our Figma mockup. So this system has been created not only 
for designers, but also it's dedicated for specialized marketers. So we don't need so many resources to create consistent landing pages across different acquisition channels. I hope that you enjoy this demo presentation of our design system. If you have any questions, you can always reach me out under this email address, uh, sebicostudio at gmail.com and see you next time.